Jim Fossil, maybe. Fossil might be desperate enough. No, you know why? Because there's there's some offensive or defensive coordinator sitting at USC or UCLA who says, you know what? Hey, this is my opportunity to become a coach in the NFL. I'm going to take it and see if I can do it. I'll volunteer. I'm not getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I liked about the conference was that he kept saying that. That was his first question. Am I getting paid? Right. As if anybody else gives a crap. Right. Can you believe this little Jew? Can you believe this little Jaime? I didn't know Kiffin was one of the tribe. I mean, oh. like, he's getting paid. Do you believe me? the balls on this kid? Oh, hey, speaking of press conferences, uh, you got anything else on Al? No, that's about uh, that's- it. You know, I know everybody's heard that stuff, but we had to play. That's great stuff. Al Davis. You know, he wasn't senile. You know, he knew exactly what he was saying and what he was doing. Oh, absolutely. But he just, I I don't think he realizes that he really doesn't have any legs to stand. You don't go calling Mortensen. If Mortensen wanted to just sue him for slander, he could crush him. Right. You know, I mean, Al's rich and Al's, but you know, Al, dude, you can't just go digging holes like that. This isn't 1964 (laughs) anymore. Oh, my gosh. Um, he didn't want you, Marcus Russell. Can you believe that? <laughs> Nobody else wanted him either. Nobody drafted him. I had this clip. Um, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, here it is. Romeo Cornell. You know, last mm-hmm. week he said he was talking about the Bengals and Browns, mm-hmm. and he said both teams are similar. Yeah, similar. Yeah, very similar. Right. Well, now he's going to offer some very profound words, oh, John. Is he going to get out the message? I don't know what we would do without him to tell us this, but you're, you're going to. This is this is great. This is just the greatest clip. Listen, to this. this is Romeo Cornell, <laughs> head coach of the Cleveland Browns. We're just going to try to win a game. That's all we're going to do. And if we win a game, then everybody's happy. When we lose. Everybody's sad. Right. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. If you eat bread in the morning, you're pooping by the afternoon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. When I used to feast like this, I would have a troop of minstrels to serenade me. Those were great times. <laughs> when we won, we were happy. Yeah. And when we lost, <laughs> we were sad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and when there were Snickers, uh, we were joyful. All right. Now, <laughs> coming up, we got to get into something. <sighs> because the juice is no longer loose. And we got to get into this whole O.J. Simpson thing because this is just price. I can't believe this, man. This is a mate oh. all these years later. 13 years, 13 days, and 13 hours to the so minute. So we're going to take a quick break, and we're going to come back, and we're going to get into O.J. na 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 Hey, O.J., goodbye. na 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 Hey, O.J. VOTech. VOTech. For 10 years, VOTech has been a leader in website development and network solutions. Whether your business has an established website or are preparing to create something new, VOTech can handle every facet of your project. VOTech offers full website and portal design and creation services, including domain registration, site maintenance, dynamic programming, database administration, video streaming, and more. VOTech also offers full e commerce and e marketing development and management, as well as complete web hosting services. For more information, see the VO Tech section at bankcartoon.com backslash services. That's bankcartoon.com backslash services. You can trust your web project to the professionals at VO Tech. VO Tech. One of the suspects involved in the robbery was O.J. Simpson. O.J. Simpson is one of the suspects of the robbery. Simpson claims that he was simply trying to get back property. What were the items that uh, he was after? Were there jerseys, a Heisman Trophy? Primarily sports memorabilia that was taken from him. They were items that were taken from him and were going to be put up at auction. Simpson is cooperating with the investigation. He should be locked up for life For what he did with that knife he wrote a book on the murder and said how he would hurt her if he had killed his wife. And now he's back in the headlines. He's been charged with robbery. He's chubby face full of stubble. OJ Simpson's in trouble. Needs a good attorney. Why did he do some dumb hotel heist? OJ is through. He's the Antichrist. If the running back was a horse, he would be glue. Hey, O.J. Simpson, this might be-
might be the time that they lock you away The bloody gloves don't matter It's about time that they make you pay There's a cell for you at the county jail And I hope that's just where you go You'll be found guilty because this time There's no Judge Lancey Toe Gonna throw his butt in jail And he can't afford the bail Gonna throw his butt in jail He's a big fat killer whale I got a premonition that he's going to prison Finally justice will prevail John and Tom on the Bang Cartoon Radio Hour. Guys, let's go to Kevin, I believe, in New Jersey. Kevin, what's your question for OJ? My kid Chris was wondering, do you think it was a bigger feat to break 2,000 yards in one season or slice two necks in one night? Ooh, I'm, so, I'm having snap. no trouble, Kevin, hearing you. Yeah, I bet you uh, are. I... All right, Alex is listening to us in Ohio. Hey, Alex. Yes. Hey, Alex. Hey, how you doing? Not Juice? bad. <laughs> Juice, can you hear me, Juice? Yes, I can hear you, buddy. Yeah, uh, I was, remember when you played for the 49ers? Yeah. Yeah, did you kill Bill Walsh? <laughs> uh, this is Steve. Steve. From, uh, how are you doing? <laughs> Not too bad, Steve. Uh, it was reported back during the, the famous uh, chase, you know, that went on in 94. Yes. It was reported on CBS 3 here in, uh, near in Philadelphia. That I, by uh, Larry Menti, that you were squeezing your helmet. <laughs> that I was what? Yeah. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> Not good, man. Hey, OJ, I, you know, I had a question for you. You know, with everything that, that Michael Vick has been going through and being yeah. indicted, I was just wondering if you wanted to meet me on the Jersey Shore to do live. Yeah. Yeah, we oh, we never got to hear any jokers, know. but that's the great thing. It's well, so that's uh, no, I don't mind. I mean, yeah. it, you know, you, people can say what if they if they if it's negative or what, as long as they're serious about the question mm-hmm. they're asking, it's easier to tell a joke. But it don't bother me. Oh yeah, they were all serious. <laughs> it don't bother me. <laughs> oh my god. Why well, should it bother me? I got away with murder. Wow. What you gonna do to me? Wow. Yeah. I love all the conspiracy theories now. Oh you know, yeah. We're just out. The white man's just out to get him. Oh yeah. Whatever. You know, it's funny. Uh, you listen to the jurors from the murder trial, mm-hmm. and they'll tell you. They'll say, you know, we did not know this information, mm-hmm. this information. You know, that we knew they let as it- the public that we had, but they were all sequestered. They had no idea right. about some of this stuff, mm-hmm. and they're like, we, we never knew that, or we'd have never let this guy go. Oh, absolutely. That, he got let out because, number one, he had excellent attorneys, which you can't blame him for that. You right. Know, that's their job. And number two... The state had lousy attorneys that got starstruck, and they yep. had a judge that was all thrilled with the cameras. And a racist cop. And they, yeah, well, they shouldn't have even allowed that to be brought up. But, you know, they, they just got themselves, they got their asses handed to them. They were the Eagles, and the Cochran team was the Redskins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's bad. <laughs> uh, you know, they were the I, Cowboys, man, and the Cochran team was the Redskins. You know, uh, the Howard Stern stuff. Howard Stern used to play those clips. Uh-huh. Look out! Look and out, all look of out. that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and and he still loves him. You know. Uh-huh. Howard talks about me a lot, and he has my mug shot behind him. But the way I view Howard, I happen I happen to be entertained by Howard. <laughs> <laughs> Howard's got to work on that hair. What the hell is up with that? Oh man, I don't know. Dude looks like one of those people who walk one of those frou frou poodles around in the Stop. park. You know? He does. He looks like a poodle that you just know is embarrassed to go out and pee on the other bushes with the dogs. Uh, you're right. Howard, we love you, man, but yeah, yeah. you, you got to fix that hair. And you know, anyway. I know you're going to disagree with me, but um, Beth Ostrowski, a bit of a butterface. Just a you know, bit of a butterface. People have been saying that since he first started dating her, but you know, Howard is, I mean, he's not the most beautiful <laughs> man in the world. You know, Dude, he's got all the money, man. <laughs> right, right. But she's got that uh, long-drawn horse face. She's, you know, why the long face, Beth? I'm sure she is by far the hottest thing he's ever had. Well, I shouldn't say that. I know he went on quite a mission when he got divorced before he met her. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. I think he was uh, 
He was living at Scores. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who was that red headed model chick that was sitting on his lap that one time? And I swear to oh, God, she Angie Everhart. A- Angie Everhart would have given it to him right there on the console, I bet you. Oh. All right, now we were all off the crap. You know, you, these are things that OJ are only going to find out about magazines. 